Hello, we're going to configure Easy ITSB from the default install. We're in the administration web portal. Go ahead and log on. The password is also admin, but the I is a 1. We're going to go ahead and configure the outgoing trunk. And you can do this in sip underscore trunks dot com. We'll just modify the existing example that we have. I will want to use the name of the context as the name of the trunk in Easy ITSP. And we'll just paste it in right there. And this is if you want to strip a digit off of forcing it to your VoIP provider. And now we'll go ahead and set up the incoming trunk. Save it and exit. And reload your ship. Now I want to add the new trunk. And you'll want to use its context name. And these uh, numbers, you can get these from your VoIP provider. And we're not going to upset on this trunk, so we're just going to do the same sell rate as the buy rate. And now we can go ahead and set up our call plans. We're just going to make one to call Alaska. And then we create a rate card for that, which would tie it to a particular chunk. Which would be the one we just created. Let's test trunk out. And I'm calling it one to one because we're selling it at the same price as what we're buying it. You can call it whatever you want. And now we gotta go back to the call plan and edit the one we created. And we can add that new card that we just created. Just click the green. And you'll see it's on there. And you can either upload rates by choosing the rate card and uploading a CSV file. Here's the format. If you want to do that, you can usually get this from your VoIP provider. Or you can manually add the rate. Just choose your rate code. 
and the dial prefix is what it filters to when you pull a number and you can have the same dial prefix on your different rate cards and it will choose the cheapest rate automatically for that call plan and you can give each rate its own name we'll just call it we'll say that's for Anchorage Alaska and if we wanted to charge more than what we bought it for we could say okay And that's your rates. And now we can go ahead and create a customer.